This is Section 2.1, which talks about conditional statements. And so this below here is a statement, and it says, if you are a pirate, then you say "r." So since pirate might be a little bit confusing, I guess I'll change it. All right, there you go. Okay, anyways, so this is called a conditional statement. And it's called a conditional statement because it has an if-then part. And the very first part, the if part, is called uh, the hypothesis. And it's called a hypothesis for a reason. We first have to say, if you are a pirate. So we're making this general statement to either get something to be true or false. Okay, you have to fit into that category or you don't. Then what happens over here is some kind of conclusion. So in this particular instance, if you are a pirate, oops, then you say R. Okay. So hypothesis is with the if, the conclusion is with the then. So let's take a statement and see if we can make it into a conditional statement. Okay, so in this example, we are given a, a statement that says a rectangle has four right angles. So what we want to do is we want to get the if-then part started. So I'm going to write if, leave a bunch of space, and then write then. So how could I possibly say this is an if-then statement? So you have to kind of play around with this, and it takes some practice. So in here, I could say... Um, if there are four right angles, and I'm going to use my shorthand, if there are four right angles, then um, it is a rectangle. And this is not the only way to do this. You could do this um, a few different ways. I could also start by saying, if it is a rectangle, then it has four right angles. Either way uh, it is, is fine. Now, there's one of the ways that's more preferred over the other, and I'm going to show you. So I could write this too. If it is a rectangle, then it has four right angles. And one of these is better than the other, and it's better for the other for a reason. If I look at the original statement, the rectangle part here is being talked about first. So when I write my conditional statement, my hypothesis should include the first part of whatever statement that I'm given. So this one down here, this one below, is a better conditional statement for that original statement. Okay, and we also have what's called a converse statement, which is a kind of conditional statement. Um, this is not the kind of shoe, it's just a converse statement. But you can remember it like that. So take, for example, our original conditional statement. If you are a pirate, then you say R. Okay. So <clears throat> first of all, all of these conditional statements are either going to be true or false. There's no in-between. And if there is room for argument, then it's not a true conditional statement. And we can write what's called the converse statement to this. And what it does is, um, I went ahead and wrote the, the if-then part, but in our original statement, if you remember, you are a pirate, that part was the hypothesis. And the you say our part was the conclusion. And all a converse does is switches those two parts. It switches the hypothesis and the conclusion. So the if part of the converse is going to look like this. If you say are. So then the last part of this is going to be then you are a pirate. So that's the difference between conditional and converse statements. And in this section, you are going to be practicing both of those. Um, there is another way to show this. It's, uh, it's a little bit more um, uh, symbolic. And if I were to write this with some symbols, I would write it like this. Um, the, the hypothesis of these statements is considered to be the letter P, okay? And the conclusion would be a Q. So I would write this for a conditional statement. P, then Q. The little arrow is red as then. 
And uh, that's just another way of saying the conditional statement, P then Q. So then if I were to write that notation with a converse, I would switch the P and the Q part because that's what a converse does. So I would say Q then P. And both of those are important uh, to know. And that concludes this section.